Hi there, welcome back. Okay, let's take a look at lesson 7.3, applying the Pythagorean theorem to solve problems, lesson 7.3. So let me show you some real life problems um, and let's apply the Pythagorean theorem for this. Okay, so we've got this barn. It says you're gonna paint the roof of a shed and you're gonna place the base of the ladder 12 feet from the shed. So you've got the base of the ladder, bottom of the ladder 12 feet from the shed and it looks like this part of the building is 35 feet tall and it says how long does the ladder need to be? So you're missing your length of your hypotenuse basically. How long does the ladder need to be in order to reach the top of the shed? Okay, so let's plug this in. You've got your legs, your A and B right here. These are connected to your right angle. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we've got 12 squared plus 35 squared equals C squared. I'm not sure how long that ladder needs to be. So 12 times 12 is 144. 35 times 35 is 1,225. All right, so now because these are on the same side, let's add these two together. So 144 plus 1,225 is 1,369. And now I only want side C, not C squared, so I'm gonna square root both sides. So side C, the length of the ladder, is 37. So that means that this needs to be 37 feet long in order to reach the top of the roof right there. Okay, let's take a look at another uh, real life problem. So you have um, this inclined plane right here and it says um, you're gonna lift a heavy object to the very top of the shelf right here. So it says the height of your plane is six feet, so that's labeled. The base of the inclined plane is 16 feet from the unit, so it's 16 feet long. And it says, what's the length of the inclined, pl inclined plane? So we're missing the hypotenuse. So these are your legs. Again, they're connected to your right angle, your A and B. So I'm going to write um, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we're going to figure out how long this has to be. So 6 squared plus 16 squared equals C squared. 6 times 6 is 36. 16 times 16 is 256. Because these are on the same side, we're going to add these two together. So um, 292. And then again, I want to find the square root. So the square root of C squared is C. And the square root of this, make sure you are rounding correctly. This says to the tenths place, 292 is not a perfect square. So you're going to get a decimal, but make sure you're rounding that decimal correctly. So the length of this has to be 17.1 feet. Okay, so let's do one more of those. So take a look at this rectangular plot of land, and it says I want to find side B over here. Well, if this is it's just a rectangle, a flat rectangle, so this is also the same as um, the same length as this. So um, uh, it looks like you're missing one of your legs because the side directly opposite your right angle is your side C. So let's try it. Um, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So um, this is my one leg I have, 300 squared, and I'm missing the other leg. And then this is going to be my hypotenuse, 325 squared. Okay, so let's, excuse me. Let's solve that. So um, 300 times 300 is 90,000. 325 times 325 is 105,625. Now, again, this is a good reminder because these are on opposite sides. You have to subtract. You have to get those two together on the same side. Actually, I don't need to bring that down yet. So we're going to subtract 90 thousand from this side so b squared is so this take away this is fifteen thousand six hundred and twenty five and then we're going to square root both sides so the square root of b squared is b and the square root of fifteen thousand six hundred twenty five is 125 and that is the length of this side of that plot of land okay and i'm going to solve just one more for you that involve a square root so let's see which one of these are right triangles if we have three side lengths this is the biggest number out of the three so this has to be my c so let's plug that in a squared plus b squared equals c squared okay so let's make um 12 squared plus 19 squared those are your a and b your two legs and then the square root of 505 and in parentheses squared, we're gonna square that. Okay, so 12 times 12 is 144. 19 times 19 is 361. And then the square root of 505 times the square root of 505 is 505. So now let's add this side and see if it equals this side. So um, 144 plus 361 is 505. And since 
um, a squared plus b squared does in fact equal c squared, then triangle one is a right triangle. And you would go through and do the exact same thing with all of these to see which ones were right triangles and which ones weren't. Um, so now, folks, this is um, part one of this lesson, so I need you now to go in and watch part two. You've got to watch part two. I'm going to show you how to find the side, missing side lengths of a rectangular prism. So that's a three-dimensional rectangle, kind of like a shipping box right here. Go watch part two now. Thank you.